this one yes. to keep wet. Yeah, the mm -hmm. important is not only to keep the nice garment, clothes, fabrics, textiles is what they needed here. That they supplied from Cusco City or other important cities. Approximately 800 people were estimated in the city, people who lived permanently. The best for Inca people were the fancy garments of clothes, fabrics, woolen drapes, not gold silver. Machu Picchu was occupied by very, very tranquil spiritual people, exactly the priests and priestesses. Now, uh, back in the days, were they used, were, did they use like alpaca and vicuña stuff also, or it was just wool? No, alpaca, vicuña, llama, guanaco. It's what they domesticated, except vicuña, it's still wild, but the soft silky fiber of vicuña alpaca is what they use for the textiles or weavings. So this, this was in a city of... cotton plant, no. They had those animals domesticated in the high cool plateaus, like uh, Peru, Bolivia, and Chile, or in Argentina, the Patagonia, where they were. The camelids were adapted to acclimatize. In the hands of domesticated by the Incas, the alpaca llama, not, yeah, not the vicuna. Or oh, the right. cotton plant that they cultivated along the Pacific coast was very well appreciated, like the uh, warm silk in China. Mm -hmm. Okay. But so this was a storage for uh, yeah, clothes and textiles. Yeah, for very important other things. Also, the stuff that they supplied from the highlands or seafood, salted sea fish, or the jungle food arrived here in the big caravan trade yeah. of llamas or llamas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they preserved in the second <laughs> story that's part of the roof of the building. Mm -hmm. there, How did they there preserve there it in salt or? Yeah, exactly. The lama alpaca made of seafood with salt. Because they had enough plenty of food to feed up permanently the yeah, approximately 800 people who lived here. And for that, they used the big caravan service of llamas for cargo transportation. Llamas climbed up to the mountains, down to the valleys, following steep, uh, steep stairs like the ones that we have in. So the bushes. See on that mountain there is one more Inca trail that goes on somewhere else into the it. Amazon jungle. Mm -hmm. There is a line into the bushes. That is oh, one okay. more original Inca trail that goes on. It's not accessible now, is it? No. <laughs> but that's deep high, curve. like... Because there is the network of hiking paths that they built to connect Machu Picchu with the highlands or with the Pacific coast or with the Amazon jungle that's in the far east. East, west, north. South. Did the Inca live here? Did the Inca live here? No. He lived in Cusco City. Because this city was inhabited by the group of intellectuals, the priesthood, the priests and priestesses, the astronomers, astrologists, or healers, magicians, shamans, or the engineers with the agronomists intellectuals. The very, very important people, the powerful people like the Inca King lived in Cusco City. Cusco City was like Rome, city for the Romans in Inca times, inhabited by the most powerful people, much you picture like Alexandria City in Egypt mm -hmm. and spiritual, religious, cultural capital. Where in Cusco did the Inca live? Uh, there are remains of 12 different Inca palaces in the nearby of the main square where Spanish people built their own uh, churches. The cathedral, for example, was built above the uh, where are coaches Inca King's uh, royal palace. Because our Peruvian history recognized or considered 12 different Inca kings. Because as a civilization, Incas arose in the beginnings of the 1100s AD not be seen, mm -hmm. A.D. Yeah, we remember the first Inca king, Manco, Manco Capac, or the 12th Inca king was. Father of the Huascar and Natawalpa, mm -hmm. 
to the right stuff and the small pox sickness. Oh, we are coach out in nine Inca King was Pachacutec, the one who probably gave, gave the orders to build the city much picture. The nine Inca King Pachacutec <coughs> compared with Alexander the Great in Europe. Pachacutec is the one who reorganized the Inca society. So in short, this city much picture for the big Inca civilization that was built from the early beginnings of the 1400 AD was some spiritual, religious, cultural capital mm -hmm. where the group of intellectuals or great masters of the nature preserved approximately 15,000 years of knowledge, technology, information that they had assimilated from other pre-Inca cultures. So this city much picture was the best achievement for the Incas in architecture, astronomy and agronomy. Mm -hmm. 60% in all the city, its original 40% is what they restored. When all the city was found completely overgrown by the thick wild vegetation like the area there. So it's down there where the investigators found 178 tombs. The Inca tombs or burials confirm that people 